Hello everyone, I'm Jeff Phillips and welcome to this week's webisode. Every week I bring in a different business to provide good tips and advice about their industry. Hopefully it's helpful to you. And today I have Angie. And Angie, welcome to the show. Thank you, thank you. Yeah, and uh, why don't you explain to uh, the viewers who you are and what you do. Okay, sure. Well, like I said, I'm Angie and I'm originally from Wisconsin and now I live in North Carolina. And uh, I've been an entrepreneur for about, I would say, 10 to 12 years. I've been dabbling in all kinds of different industries. Um, basically, I, I, I do have a full-time job. I work in the pharmaceutical industry, but I uh, also used to own some rental properties in Wisconsin. So I found my passion and it's in the health industry, health and wellness. And so basically, over the last three years, I've really been working on myself and my own health and fitness because I was really in a rut physically and so um, just kind of had neglected myself and so in the last three years I have lost about 25 pounds I have um, started to really change my whole diet and started taking healthy supplements and uh, I actually started working out at, with a sport called CrossFit and I don't know if you've ever heard of it but it's uh, pretty intense it's um, like Olympic weightlifting and gymnastics together and it's really awesome but um, it's a lot of hard work and I ran a half marathon last year so I'm just really, you know, have embodied the health and um, fitness like spirit. So now what I do is I work with people who want to take their health and wealth into their own hands. Okay. Well, interesting. So why don't you explain to us, you know, what, what's, why, is it so important, why is it so important to take a multivitamin? Well, Jeff, you know, a lot of people think that they can just eat healthy and they'll get all the nutrition that they need. But honestly, what does that even mean? I mean, if you ask a big group of people what does that mean to them, you're going to get a lot of different answers. And even if you live in Whole Foods or if you are able to buy uh, organic produce and meat and eat that all the time, I mean, you're still talking about two weeks from field to shelf and most of the nutritional value is gone by then anyways. And even if you do manage to eat healthy, you're still not eating mangoes and goji berries, acai berries, medicinal herbs. You know, you're really missing out on a wide array of phytonutrients and antioxidants that are critical for your body's proper functioning. So that's why it's really important to supplement what you eat with a high quality multivitamin. Okay. Now I know it can be confusing out there because there's different forms of multivitamins. What is the difference between a, a liquid multi and a, a pill form? Well, there's a really big difference, actually. Um, you know, those really big, hard, compacted horse pills that, you know, people take for vitamins. Well, if you Google vitamin and x-ray, you'll find lots of pictures of x-rays that have been taken probably in a chiropractic office, and it'll just show undissolved vitamins in the intestines. And if you know any nurses, you can ask them. They've found, they'll usually tell you that they find vitamins in the bedpans. And if you know anybody in the porta potty industry even, they'll tell you that when they strain the porta potties, the strain the, the solids out, there's vitamins in there. Wow. So you're literally flushing your money down the toilet when you take those hard compacted vitamins and there's lots of reasons for that but mainly it's just because they're manufactured in such a way that it's hard for us to break them down and when if we do manage to to dissolve them somehow in our body you know they're usually made with synthetic vitamins and nutrients that our bodies don't know how to process and our bodies are not really functioning the way they should anyway because of all the pollution and the, the toxins that we face every day. So you're lucky if you actually absorb 30% of what's in those pills. So that's why it's really important to take a liquid multivitamin, a high quality one, because um, usually they're microionized nutrients that are bioavailable and they're just absorbed right into your soft tissues and um, sometimes people say that taking multivitamins hurts their stomach or like you know even a liquid usually will give them an upset stomach so I want to recommend that you look for one that has an aloe vera base and also that's made out of non-synthetic nutrients because then of course your body will know how to process it and the aloe vera is very good for your digestive system. Okay well it all makes sense to me and it, and it seems clear but um you know, it just baffles me, you know, why doesn't, if it, if it is so important, why doesn't my doctor recommend multivitamins or suggest that I take multivitamins? 
Well, you know, there's a lot of really good doctors out there that have really been trying to take a more integrative approach to their practice and integrate wellness and prevention. But for the most part, I, in my experience, you know, a lot of doctors, they just, they don't know enough about it. And, you know, when they go to medical school, they're taught how to diagnose symptoms, to diagnose illnesses and diseases and to, you know, what drugs to prescribe to people and what surgeries to recommend. And, you know, you pretty much are going to the doctor when you're already sick. So it's really too late by then. And, you know, if the doctor wants to start integrating wellness into their practice, they need to learn about that on their own. And a lot of doctors just frankly don't have time for that. So that's why I do what I do now. And I teach people how to take their health into their own hands because health is wealth. And that's what you should be investing in. And no purse, no pair of shoes, no beach house, no boat is going to mean anything if you're not healthy enough to enjoy it. Right. I often say, you know, you, you're, you're either going to pay the farmer or you're going to pay the doctor. You know, yeah. who would you rather pay? I mean, I'd rather pay the, the farmer. Yeah, so, exactly. So, well, that's good information. Thank you for coming Thank in you. today. And um, if any of you are interested in more information about uh, what Angie does and what she offers, uh, check out the website at the end of this video. And if you have found this video to be valuable and it's your first time hanging out with us, I'd love for you to subscribe. Um, if you're here watching this on our YouTube channel, please subscribe uh, to the InFocus Studios YouTube channel and uh, feel, feel free to leave any comments below. We'd love to continue this conversation. And that's it for now. And until next time, take care.